Okay. Hello, Professor Chen. Um, I'm truly, uh, I truly apologize for not putting up the YouTube video. I have never made a YouTube video or have used any of the platforms um, that we use in class, but I'm super excited to try them out. Um, so, and I will make sure that other videos will be on time. So one of the things that I wanted to share um, just about like the article um, in terms of one of the things that I had really liked was the definitions and seeing the trajectory of instructional design in terms of what it is, um, what it meant like back in the day to what it means now. And in the particular article done by Chang and yourself, I really liked how it addressed the current epistemologies um, about the constructivism approach um, in instructional design, such as being novice or being an expert. What was interesting is that when we talked a lot about in the breakout room was that the novice just seemed to go right with the Addy approach where the expert had appeared to have this process, almost like a process in a way for them to organize their ideas as well for them to troubleshoot as well. So if like they came across something within the comic, then they were able to kind of like create this other organization piece, right? To help them flush out things where I feel like as the novice, right? Didn't really have that. And so it was interesting just to see the ways. So does, when we talked about it in class, does structure mean the ways in which you organize your ideas? Because for an example, you can be a great classroom teacher in terms of writing a lesson plan, right? But then the delivery of the lesson plan falls apart, even though you've done that process. So can you still be an expert if the thinking process or organization of ideas falls apart? And then the other question that I have brought up was, as a novice, like how do you increase knowledge and experience right outside of lit literature reviews? One thing um, that we do in science education is that we're always talking about theory and making it applicable to practice. So yes, the theory, we need that foundation, but then how do we then use um, the theory to an applicable practice? Like how do you with the Addy um, aspect, right? How do you then um, increase your audience or how do you reach your audience? Thanks, Lisa.